Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on today's Smile, right? When you look at this thing, you just smile, you think about, oh my God, man, I remember back in the day, my buddy had this, or we had some friends that had this, we went to a field party, we uh, took this to the beach, or we rode around. This is why people get cars here at Fleming's Ultimate Garage, because this, is, uh, this whole business has been built around I remember when, right? I remember when, riding around in these cool things, and they were just things. This one here has been beautifully restored. And as we walk around it, you'll see not only has it been restored, but a lot of cool original stuff is still on it. Like a lot of these you see out there have a Chevy 350 V8, which is a great engine. Nothing wrong with that. But this is pure Jeep, man. Pure Jeep with a 304 uh, Jeep V8, right? Still in a CJ5. Great colors, wheels and tires, bumpers, all restored. Let's take a minute, look around at it. Can imagine having this at the beach or going uh, out to dinner with some friends or the kids or something like that. We have a couple of choices we want to talk to you about uh, on this. Most everything else has been done and then we have to talk about the seat choice and whether you want to stick with this or you want to get something else. Anyway, it's pretty rare that we have the father, check that over there, all beautifully restored, ready for delivery. Uh, we're just waiting for his customer to get back in town so we can pick that up. And then the son, it just, I don't know, it sounded cool just to see the two and how this evolved into this and how this evolved into today's modern Jeep and the fact that the, it's still going. It's, uh, they say this is the longest continuous production vehicle uh, in the world is the Jeep product like this. And uh, that's pretty amazing when you think about it. All right, so we talk about paint quality all the time. This is actually a lot nicer than the factory paint, so I'd like to show it off if I could uh, with fresh paint on there. Uh, it just looks really great. And just a color combination, the black with the green. Uh, there's no mistaking that this is a classic vehicle. And although you're not spending a lot of time on the outside of it, when you're inside or when you're walking up to your vehicle and you see it sitting there, it's just, look, see, this is what happens. Some cool stuff, man, stuff you forget about. Fold the windshield down, no problem, right? Clips right on there. And then these old school uh, hooks still does have a safety here, which is nice in case you forget to to launch that, right? And then under here we have uh, like what we remember so well, and that's the 304 V8. Big things that you forget about, power steering with big wheels and tires and stuff like that. Sometimes it's tough to turn these. This is nice because it has the upgraded power steering. All of this is restored in here. Uh, doesn't have a lot of miles since the restoration. It's just been used nicely and for fun. Kind of the same thing that you would do for it. Um, anyway, it still shows the fender tag there showing how the vehicle was built. Um, built in Toledo, Ohio. That means it's American Jeep, huh? How about that, maybe? I don't know, I just get excited about them because they look so great, they make you smile. And the 304 V8 is just enough power, right, to get this thing rolling. All right, so let's take a peek at this for a second because there's a lot of detail stuff that you haven't seen. This is a metal body. This isn't like uh, an aftermarket uh, fiberglass body. So look at all the work that went in here. If you want to, you can still uh, mount uh, doors here and put a top on it. This we put the bikini top on, roll bar that's, you know, in place, seating for people in the back as well. And then this detail stuff where this is molded in, uh, the taillights and, and bumpers and what have you. A lot of times, again, people say, wow, that's a great looking car, but they don't really know why. And all of the effort that's gone into doing all this and the underneath of the vehicle and what have you is why you end up with a much better Jeep than some others. All right, so we're gonna join up in here. Listen, these are uh, the buckets that came in it. Uh, they have the upgraded seat rail system uh, and adjustable seat tracks back and forth, right, which is kind of nice. If you don't love this style and you'd like more of a flatter style, no big deal. We can swap these out because the brackets uh, are already in place. And so then we just have to do the seats because the, the bases are there. And so when you get in, you may like, you may like this seat because you don't move around much, but you may like a wider seat or maybe you want a bench seat to add uh, three people here and two in the back for a lot more stuff. But, um, most importantly, everything is painted and detailed in here. Uh, you got full array of gauges from the tachometer here. This is showing 400 and roughly 50 something miles on it since the restoration. That's what we've been told. Uh, and I'm passing that along. It looks to be uh, fairly new. Uh, I love this part here too, because this is the knobs that you would undo that would allow the windshield to fold down, which is kind of cool. Um, a lot of people um, either put uh, a radio inside there or uh, they, we put the console here, the steel console that's here. 
where you can put the radio in and your stuff and it has a lid that locks and so everything is locked inside as you want to go you just take your keys with you and you leave everything in here like all your you know your, all your stuff that way if you went to the beach or went for the uh, went camping or went for a cruise or a walk or whatever in the mountains uh, you wouldn't have to take all that with you four-wheel drive this is why you buy it man you buy it for the four-wheel drive you'd buy it for this because you remember so well you know how well this thing got out of its own way and uh, that 304 V8 makes a big difference big wheels and tires, heavy-duty four-wheel drive, this could be a lot, a lot of fun. All right, so we close up the video on this smile machine. I say it's a smile machine because I just think about how much fun it would be to go out with another couple to dinner or go out with the kids in this with the doors off and the wind blowing around. And today's modern minivan, you know, with 97 cup holders and uh, every single uh, luxury accoutrement to be had, this is basic transportation that sounds good because it's got the side exit exhaust down here right and the v8 power and it's just man, it's just so much fun to take out it's so different than your daily driver anyway call us 301-816-1000 we'll tell you all about this cj and uh, don't forget if you would share uh, that with some people and if you would like the video as well we're gonna go for a test drive and uh, check out that because it sounds great going down the road and i'd love to hear your jeep story man throw us uh tell me maybe you rode around on one of these when it was brand new or Maybe your family bought one. Maybe you bought one when it was brand new and how you really miss it. We'll figure out how to get in your garage.